All right, guys, good to be back. Uh, it's been a while since I filmed something live, but uh, we're going to be using the Equinox 600 down here at Surf City again. And uh, let me see if we can get tides going out. Had a little storm not too long ago, so uh, maybe we can find some good stuff. We'll be back to you. All right, so right here we have a cut. I like I like hitting these. You just never know what's in here. Do this live for a minute. Let's see what we can find here. See all these shells. Right here. I right, got something right. I right, got a 14, 15. A little deeper. I think I see something right there. All right. Another pull tab. These are old though. All right, we're getting there. We got a pretty deep one. This is like a 17, but it's jumping from 17 to 13. I'm just gonna see what this one is. All right, we got it out, 17 solid now. Let's see. It's been a little pool tab day. Let's see. Oh. We have. Looks like an elephant charm, guys. it off. Alright, that's a good little charm. Okay. So that was a 15 to 7, uh, actually Let's see what it was again. So solid 17, but when it was buried, it was jumpy. So, all right, see you on the next one. All right, got a 1920 right here. Probably a penny. Oh, fishing weight. Cool. That was 1920. Usually on the 600, it's um, 18 on the number, on the reading. So, all right. See you in the next one. Uh, this one's 1921. Pretty deep. Probably a bottle cap. All right, guys, got a very good signal here. This thing's jumpy, 31, 32. All 
All right, got it out. Uh-oh. Look at this, guys. Look right here. This looks like a fresh drop. Let's see what we got here. Unbelievable. 925. All right, small ring. That's why we come out here. Unbelievable. All right, hopefully we can find some more. See you on the next one. Got a 13. We're running under beach two on the Equinox 600. Uh, other than the ring and the, and the charm, it's been pretty slow. So I'm gonna do a live. I'm gonna do it live right here. All right, see that? 14. Found a lot of pull tabs and stuff. 14 is a good signal as far as gold. Choppy. Yep. That's what happens in the dry sand, guys, a lot of times. I like doing the uh, wet sand. You find less trash in the wet. But this is what you get in the dry sand. Let's keep going. I'm going to keep filming. Let's cover up this hole. A lot of you don't think I cover the holes up, but I do go back and cover them up. I don't never film it. So right there, we got to see that? She's covered up. All right, here we go. I'm gonna stick in the dry sand for a minute. All right, good signal right here, guys. 25. That could be a quarter of a dime. And I do use my pin pointer. I just, I'm just used to it. I don't really like yeah, what we got here. Dime. There you go. I'm gonna keep filming it. Let's cover the hole back up. There you go. Sticking the dry sand. You find a lot of new coins in the dry sand and a lot of trash, but you will find jewelry. All right, so this one right here is the number one. So this one right here will be, it could be foil and it could be a small ring mm -hmm. there you go. foil all 
Some a little bit more here. Let's go this way. What I like to do too around the, uh, I just find the beach accesses and uh, kind of hit them hard. But you just never know on the ocean. Let's hit this access a little bit. Thirteen, fourteen, and that's it right now. Got it. See something red right here, and that is a pull tab. All right, we'll see you in the next one. I'm going to try to get some more targets, good targets, and I'll be back, too, if we get a good one. She's deep. Could be a can. Somebody buried a can. Not a can. Dime over here. Huh. We have a dime. Twenty-four, twenty-five. Probably a dime. Yeah, what is this? Dime. 